We watched WWF Raw number 39, November 8th, 1993. It opens with the return of the melodramatic Vince McMahon narration. Ludwig Borga, the Hellraiser from Helsinki, on a mission to dishonor America. He shocked the world with his defeat of Tatanka. They move on to his opponent, Scott Steiner, impassioned All-American athlete, with his brother, Rick. <laughs> I would describe Scott Steiner as impassioned. That's what Vince That's said. That's a good word. That's what Vince said. Impassioned. With his brother, Rick, he has won countless times, but is he ready to face Ludwig Borga one-on-one? And as if this is an art, and it's just, you know, Ludwig and Steiner doing the movies on guys. But then we get a close-up of Ludwig's face, and I forget what he said. It was like, oh, I'm not afraid of Scott Steiner. And he turns, and Scott Steiner's face appears in front of him, and Ludwig's like, I will kick your ass. And then his face disappears, but Scott says to him, I'm tired of you running down America. I'm going to shut your mouth tonight on Raw. This was so great. And I'm looking back at this now. This was the highlight of the show. This is the best thing on Raw, this 30-second opening video. I got to say, that I don't know what happened today, but I totally forgot to watch this show. And it's it's 7 o'clock, and I'm getting ready to make dinner for the kids, and all of a sudden I realize, oh, shit, I didn't watch this fucking show for tonight. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, I forgot what day it was or something. It happens. So the kids are playing, and Whitney's at yoga, and I was like, all right, I, I got to watch this show, kids, so just play, and I'm going to watch this show. So I'm sitting on the couch, because I, I can't leave these kids. <laughs> I'm glad you realized that. Oh, my God. I can't even leave. Uh, I was sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden, Paisley wanders around the corner. They're literally, it's the living room, which is connected to the dining area. There's like no, it's just they went around this little tiny corner. They're 10 feet from me, but I can't see Hanalei. And uh, Paisley wanders over. She goes, I think Hanalei's getting in trouble. I was like, oh, yeah. So I stand up and I walk around the corner and she has taken approximately, and I'm not even joking, 5,000 Whale Scout postcards and has just spread them all over the floor. So I spent about 10 minutes picking them up. But anyway, so I'm sitting there, I'm watching this show and uh, they're supposed to be playing, but you know, they're doing whatever. And this opening segment starts and Ludwig Borga's yelling at Scott Steiner. And Scott Steiner's yelling at Ludwig Borga. And whoever it was goes, shut your mouth! All of a sudden, Hanalei just goes, Daddy, this is not very nice. I said, well, you know, it's not very nice, but uh, go back to playing, because i got to watch this violence! And in fact, it led to a match, which was uh, better than I expected. Can't say it was all that good, but... I, I will get to that shortly. I do know. want to say they were at the Fernwood Result in Bushkill, Pennsylvania. I don't believe Pocono's. this is a real place. I looked it up. <laughs> There's there, no Bushkill. There appears to be a place in Pennsylvania called Bushkill, but I said, okay, it's in Pennsylvania. Where is this? And I zoomed out in search of something to recognize. And I zoomed out and zoomed and zoomed and zoomed. This is in the middle of nowhere. It's hundreds of miles from anything. This explains why the building is so tiny. It looked nice, and the crowd was hot, but it was a tiny, tiny little building. Uh, this was the Monday after the Riddick Bow Evander Holyfield fight, where the fan man hit the ring. So Bobby Heenan is there saying he's got a parachute. He and his buddy are going to go hit the ring this weekend. Vince breaks the news to him. The match already happened, and his friend is literally a fool and got arrested. Savage is back. Randy Savage is back. He says, if Crush has the guts to show up in this arena, all hell is going to break loose, I promise you. And then Vince has an announcement. They've set up a 900 line. You, the fans, for the mere cost of 99 cents per vote, can choose the next opponent for Pierre the Quebecer. Your options are the 1-2-3 kid, Doink, Marty Gennetti, or All-American Lex Luger. Gee, I wonder who's going to win. You know, I, I once had a 900 line. And uh, it was designed to make money, of course. Much like all of my other money-making ventures over the years. But I never tried to fuck people with it. It's like, if you called, I tried to, as quickly as possible, give you all of the news and at least try to give you your money's worth. This was just absolute, complete, total horseshit. It's like, they want you to pay a dollar ninety-nine to vote in a poll where they already know who's going to win... And it doesn't even fucking matter anyway who wins, but they basically know who's going to win. I was just like, man, you guys must be hurting for money because this is bottom of the barrel stuff here. So it's Ludwig Borger versus Scott Steiner. 
So here's the key. Ludwig is not very good, obviously. <laughs> He's really quite bad. But the one thing about him is he is a big, strong, scary-looking dude, and he has a definite presence. He never looks lost. He never looks gets that deer-in-the-headlight looks. He's never just a big guy in the ring. He's always a big, sneering, angry, foreign fanatic. So Scott gets in there with him and had the simplest match ever. Don't do anything you can't do. Don't do anything that could possibly get screwed up. There are spots where things like hit me and I'll sell. Slam me and I'll sell. Hit me again and I'll sell some more. Uh, the most complicated sequences were things like, I, th I think I spotted a three one there, a, a three move sequence. Uh, whip me in, put your head down, I'll suplex you. That was the most complicated thing they did. Now it helps that Scott can suplex anyone. Because <laughs> Ludwig Porga is a big hoss of a man, but Scott was just pitching him hither and yon. That helped a lot in making this great. I did like, I think you pointed this out last week, but I noticed, really noticed it this week. When Ludwig Borga jogs the ropes and he goes to actually hit them, he is a straight line like he's strapped to a board from his feet, from his ankles to his neck. A perfectly vertical line. It's hysterical. So eventually, the Quebecers come out. Rick Steiner comes out. And uh, Rick gets in the apron for no reason. Ludwig Borga very casually drags him, or excuse me, Ludwig drags him into the ring. So Rick casually suplexes him onto his head. I howled. The Quebecers attack. It all turns out to be a double DQ, and that was that. Dude, I was just dying because fuck me. How many times have they done this stupid rule where somebody can hit the ring, and as long as they don't touch one of the participants, it's not a DQ? So if I'm wrestling Vinny and Craig hits the ring, but we just beat Craig's ass and throw him out of the ring, it's not a DQ. Here, they're all beating up Rick. Rick's not even in the match. Mm -hmm. Everybody who is not in the match beats up everybody who is not in the match, and that is a disqualification. No one touched Morga. No one touched Scott Steiner. Just a shitty fucking DQ. So anyway, the match itself I thought was all right, and uh, I was watching this match, and I thought, how come Vince never, like, tried with Scott Steiner? Yeah. Because yeah. when you think about it, I mean, let's compare Scott Steiner to Lex Luger. Who's the better worker? Scott. Scott. Oh, okay. By Who, a mile. Who's got the better physique? Lex. And you could argue Lex, but I mean, it's Scott's close. bigger and thicker. Okay. Luger's more of a bodybuilder. Luger's way more cut. But, but you would know. never you would never look at Scott Steiner and go, this bloke ain't big enough to be the champ. You certainly would not. He's a big fucking strong guy. Yeah. Okay, I know this was not really a big deal back then, but when you consider Montreal, maybe it was to Vince. Which guy's a shooter? Which guy do you have to worry about somebody stealing the title from him? Uh, Scott. But... You would, you, yeah, you would, you would worry more about Lex than Scott. No one's, no one's taking that title from Scott. Right. If he I, want I don't to. know how relevant that was in 1990. Well, I don't either, but I'm just throwing out the options here. All right. Who's the better promo? Scott. I mean, it's close, I but it's not, not like not one now. is Ric Flair. Lex had one that really great one with Borga. Yeah, he, he could do he could do Lex, good ones, Lex, but at this at this point in 1993, Lex was better. Okay, that's fine, but it, but it's not like leaps and bounds. No, it's not like one guy is superstar he's not Billy rock. Graham and yeah, the other yeah, yeah, guy is yeah. yeah. He's just a little bit better. Yes, and then you know what what else is there? Uh, you know who's I guess I guess Luger would have been the bigger star because of what he done outside of 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 WWE. Well, Luger, but, Luger had been, already been a major vendor by this point. In uh, but I guess both companies, right? He's some main event at SummerSlam. So what about uh, Charisma? I mean, Charisma. It's it's you in know. ring. It's probably Scott. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, but again, it's it's close. Your, your point is, Brian, is that Scott signed her a lot going for him. He had a lot going for him. Yes, and right. and I don't know if maybe Scott was just like, I ain't breaking up with my brother, or it's gonna be doing tags, or if he was never asked or whatever. But you know, he's another. It was him and Ray Ramon are the guys. When I see the Diesel push, yeah, you know, it's like. Why didn't you go with Scott Hall? Why didn't you go with Scott Steiner? I know the guy's tall, but like it's not like those guys couldn't have been champions. Yeah, um, I do know. I don't know the exact date, but I mean the Steiners are gone. Spoiler, spoiler. Steiners are gone by Mania. Maybe they had already got one foot out the door. Maybe they didn't want to stay anymore. I don't know. Don't know. You'd think you'd want to stay if you were offered to be the top guy. I probably would have paid him a lot of money if he was the top guy. Every time Borga took a bump, 
it looked like it surprised him. <laughs> like like he hadn't taken many bumps before. I'm sure he has not. Yeah. The, the, so. There's a drop kick in the uh, middle here. And yeah. uh, I, I think Ludwig just stops running and just sits down. Yeah. And then there's another one where Steiner is a top rope drop kick. And Vince says, that drop kick caught him in the midsection. And caught him in the midsection because Ludwig was... 18 feet away and wouldn't come any closer. Scott just had to throw himself out there as, as far as he could. So, uh, yeah, we get the double DQ. And uh, this, in the short term, at least nothing. We'll see. What, you know, there's, there's this, this is the main event of Survivor Series, obviously, so there's more to come. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me? <laughs> you make me mad? I, I guess seeing, seeing you guys. When you week. needle me? Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm -hmm. Ah, forget about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.